Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing just this really classic winged eyeliner red lip look. So don't mind the bruising on my lips because they were still quite bleh, swollen and healing when I filmed this. But for my foundation, I'm using the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in, I believe the shade is F100. So first I'm just going to be placing that foundation all over my face with this flat synthetic brush and then going in and buffing it in with the Sigma F82 Round Kabuki. Buffing that all over my face and making sure to bring it down my neck and also to blend it into my ears. So now moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. Just using the spoolie side to brush the brow hairs up and back and then going in with the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brow. And for my brows, I will be lining the underneath and then flicking the remaining product upwards at the front of my brow so turning the brush on its front and flicking up to create like hair like strokes I'm just going back in with the other side of the brush and really carving out the top of my eyebrow we're going in with the ABH clear brow set and just sticking those babies down Moving on to carving out the brows I'm going to be using the ABH concealer in 1.0 it's cleaning up under the brow and also using this concealer to prime my eyelid also I used to do this and now that I've started I don't think I'll ever stop I think it makes such a difference and it means if you mess up on your eyebrows or I don't know yeah just mess up screw up it's so easily fixed. I find this concealer really good as well for getting rid of discoloration on my eyelids. So just setting that all that down with the palest shade in the ABH contour kit. First shade that I'm going to go into is called Birkin by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm that on an ABH um, blending brush too. So just chucking that in my crease and blending, blending, building, building until I'm happy with how it looks. I'm just mixing the shades Gleam and Legend, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and putting that basically just all over my eyelid with a large shader brush from Sigma. Once that step is done, I'll be moving on to the dreaded wing liner. <laughs> um, so using this one by Gorgeous Cosmetics, it's one of those like felt tip pen eyeliners that are quite easy to use, I find. So you can do your wing as big or as little as you want. I find it easier to draw out from the outer corner and then to drag it back in. And then to just obviously connect the line to the rest of the lid. going to take the same Birkin shade that we used in our crease and run it on my lower lash line as well. I'll be concealing under my eyes with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and I'll also be putting that on my chin, Cupid's bow, down the center of my nose, on the sides of my nose and also under my cheekbones and on my forehead. This is almost like creating a stencil for the contour shade that we're going to put on afterwards. So for my contour shade, I'm going to be using the Tarte Pro Glow Palette and just the cream contour shade that's in there and putting that like, you know, cheekbone, jawline, forehead, chin. Um, under my lip and also filling in those lines on my nose to contour my nose is with an ABH concealer brush as well After that I'll just be grabbing the foundation brush that I used at the start by Sigma and first of all just blending in 
the in-between section between the drawer and the cheekbone and then I will start blending in the concealer under my eyes and as it gets closer to my um, lash line I'll switch to a little Zoeva brush. Now I'm using a Napoleon Duo Fibre Brush just to blend out that cream contour on the cheekbones, forehead and obviously the jawline as well. This is like my favourite part to watch. <laughs> I find it so satisfying to blend it all in. Once we've done this area of the face I'm going to go again back in with that foundation brush and just make sure that all of these colors are all blended together nicely. I'll be taking a Morphe brush and blending in my chin and nose contour. Just going back in with that foundation brush to further buff everything together and make it all look seamless. <laughs> Now going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and using the palest shade in the palette to set my under eyes, um, my chin, cupid's bow, nose, forehead, just anywhere I put the lighter colour. And I'll also use this powder to carve out under my cheekbones as well. Just because I don't like baking because I do have quite dry skin. This is as much as it gets really for setting my face. Um, now contouring with the shade Fawn from the same ABH palette. Um, this brush is a Napoleon chisel cheek brush. I want to know how many times I've said um in this voiceover. <laughs> Switching brushes to do my forehead. This is the ABH large powder brush, I'm pretty sure. And then my blush is Margin by MAC. And that was a Zoeva Luxe cheek blush brush, I think. Um, for highlight, I'm using the ABH Glow Kit in sun dipped and just taking moonstone and summer and mixing them together and putting them um putting that on my cheekbones and cupid's bow nose chin everywhere <laughs> now i have just chucked a pair of lashes on these ones are by socialize and they're called vixen and they are my absolute favorites i love them so now moving on to lips i'm first going to line with the charlotte tilbury lip pencil in kiss and tell And then I'll be going into the ABH lip palette and mixing the shades primary 3 and 7 together. Seriously creates the most perfect red lipstick and like you guys can see it almost looks like velvet on my lips. I absolutely love this lip palette. I think it's amazing. The quality is just like it's next level and the fact that you can mix like any colour that you want blows my mind. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you do, please make sure to like. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Um, I'm trying really hard to upload more frequently now to YouTube. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will talk to you next time.